Milan. Milan, solo con te. Milan, Milan, sempre con te. Hello, my soccer universe. Milan just clinched the title. I think it is time for a, a kind of raw, unscripted, unplanned, no, not unplanned, I had a plan for doing a video like this. Just uh, telling you how I am. Um, I'm overcome with many emotions. Um, this will be totally unscripted. I am thoroughly happy. Can, the only sucker at this video is now that we just put the kids to bed. So I cannot really yell half an hour ago or so. So I um, have to <laughs> keep it a little bit down. <sighs> Milan are Italian champions for the 21-22 season. Something that even a month ago I was hoping for, I didn't believe it. And if you watch any of my videos, I mean, great start. To the season and whatever but if you watch any of my videos especially going then slightly into uh, you know just before the derby the january was so and so then they had a high february march april how frustrated i was because you could have put the title away how frustrated i was that i still maintain milan should have six points more in the table you won the game against spezia you had the draw against Napoli, that goal, uh, the equalizer for Udine should never have been given. So it should never have been tied to begin with. However, it makes it more special. To me, this title, I think the only title of all the ones that I have experienced as a fan, the only one that I really can compare it to is the one from 98-99 season. Hence, there are two, the two jerseys from that season are hanging up there. Uh, because that was similarly unexpected where Milan, I mean, this season was a teeny, I would even argue a teeny bit more expected because that season, Milan just came off of a 10th and 11th place finish to win the title. Uh, and also back then Lazio needed to fall over to get the title. You needed to secure it away from home against Perugia, uh, thanks to Bierhoff, who finally <laughs> put in the goals. You know, there are similarities, Bierhoff, Giroud, and so on. Uh, this is the feeling that I have. This was the most, uh, this was the most unexpected title. And the cherry on top of it, you know, we are the champions and no time for Inter because we are the champions. <laughs> they are not getting a second star. They are not getting a second star. And... I would be so happy if we get the second star before them. So happy. I cannot tell you how happy that would make me. But you know, any Milan fan would be happy with that. So this this will be now the, 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 the race. It, literally, this will be the race. Uh, and you know, for me, when I grew up, uh, Milan pulled away from Inter in Scudetti. Then Inter came back, overtook them. Then, of course, Milan had to get the uh, Scudetto in 11. Then a lot of Juve, then Inter again ahead. Well, Milan, I hope Milan will pull the level. Um, another thought, I mean, it's completely random. The last time Milan won a title, I was about to get married. The last time Milan won the title, I was about to get get married. It was a very happy period. I'm also I'm I'm at a really really good place overall. Yes, it's not always easy, but I'm at a really really good place. Maybe that ref is also reflected there. Uh, I, it's just it feels so satisfying on many 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 levels. And I, 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 I told my wife, now Milan winning this title, it reminds me so much about the time where we were about to get married. Really, and it's a happy and good feeling. It really, 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 really is. So uh, it's just awesome. It's just awesome to have this title. Watching the title celebration, yes, they were dragged, dragged out. But you know, the many great players. And again, um, I'll get to the match and, 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 and so on. But you know, just seeing Slatan walk out there, potentially his last ever title and really, really digging it about all those uh, bit part players that came out and did their part. I mean, uh, be it Castillejo, be it then later on Salamikas, who suddenly had a turnaround to his season. Uh, it's just great. It's just great. And you know, when I saw Simon Kier and I really dig his, his hair game at the moment, 
uh, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, and yeah, I'm mostly happy for Stefano Pioli. There's another memory in late 17, October 17, uh, my wife and I traveled to Italy to celebrate our 40th birthdays and so on. Um, and I, we were in Florence, of course. What else? You need to show, you need to go to the nice places. And I went to the Fiorentina store and, you know, I got a little bit, I got and really uh, also into Fiorentina following him and Stefano Pioli was their coach. And I got to tell you, uh, I watched his press conferences on YouTube and, and, and so I thought, this seems to be a really nice, reasonable guy who is building a young team. I really would love to have him as a coach. So when he was hired for Milan after the Giampolo disaster, many Milan fans said immediately Pioli out. I actually thought, no, he might actually be the, exactly the right coach. And again, in this, memory, in this moment, I really remember this 5-0 destruction at Bergamo. And I think it was in late 2019. Because uh, I, I, I vividly remember this game and how down I was afterwards. But at that point, it was also clear something got to happen. We already knew that Zlatan was coming around. That Zlatan would have gone to Napoli. For me, the turnaround came not only Zlatan, but also Simon Kier. Those two cannot be overstated. And then them, uh, as bad it was for my other team, Lusk, in the pandemic, to just then pressure taking off you in many ways. And suddenly they get on a roll. Didn't finish in the top four, but you saw things were going well. Last season, Scudetto uh, was an option for a while but you saw that Inter just has the much much better and deeper squad and it was not quite yet there you also saw that Zlatan is uh, in, in injury prone this season I think the greatest work that Pioli have to have done and not only Pioli it also has to be Maldini and Massara they have to be praised above everything else the squad that they built that they cut the salaries that they have a project. I mean, just this should be such a sign for the entire Italian league that you do not need to splash the cash if you have a plan. This is the most satisfying part. Milan on paper did not have the best squad, but a well-constructed squad with a coach that made it click in all the right moments. A team that really was hard to break down and a team that lost the Italian national team goalkeeper that won Italy the Euros. You lost him. You gave him off for free. You let Gialanoglio, and this is for you, Gialanoglio, for leaving this team to get more money. <laughs> really happy. I'm really happy that they won the title just because of him, of this vermin going to Inter trying to win a title. <laughs> but that you could replace Todoruba and arguably upgrade with Mag Mike Manuel. I think this is just a genius move of the season. Mike Manuel, of all the players that I said, for me, the two players that stick out for this entire season are Mike Manuel and Sandro Tonali with close seconds to Tomori and Kalulu, how they built the defense. I'm just, this is absolutely awesome. This is, I mean, and Kalulu is not a central defender. Rock solid they were. And then you can talk also about Theo and Rafa Leao, and you have basically the spine of this great team. And then plug in here and there. Yeah, Giroud probably played a little bit too much. The curse of the nine is gone. We have finally a striker with number nine that scored more than 10 goals. Yay! Zlatan was pivotal in the first half of the season. Then he was more a bit part player. Um, Giroud took that in the second part and most importantly the most important thing is winning that derby that yes it was not deserved but winning that derby kept Milan in it and then the sequence in late April where you just stayed in the title you just lost the cup derby you stayed in the title race with this last minute winner against Lazio. Now, in hindsight, you knew that uh, you didn't actually need it, but you know, 
this was the moment because at that point you claim top spot again and Inter needed to win the game against Bologna and they threw it away. And as good as a squad they are, mentally they are complete SHIT. It felt so good and to have them winning the derby thanks to this Giroud brace, Giroud brace, winning that derby, not only gave it a brace, but it gave it a freaking tiebreaker. It gave it a tiebreaker and despite all the bad calls from the referees, Milan have enough done enough to earn this title and justice has been done. It was a little bit tighter than it should have been, but justice has been done and it feels so good. And again, I want to thank Pioli for and Maldini and Massara and even a uh, singer uh, who was even there, you know, uh, the Elliot management, the Gazidis, the entire group, what they built there, amazing. As I said, I could not be happier at this very moment. Yes, the few sour grapes were in there, you know, Cassie leaving uh, does hurt a little bit, although I think this season was not so good. However, he got the deciding time. The game today, Whatever Sassuolo said, I mean, if I think for about five, five, five and a half minutes, I was nervous. But then I saw how Milan started to create chance after chance after chance. And you could see that only Consili was kind of keeping Sassuolo in the game. At first, I was an utter destruction. Sassuolo definitely did not go out. It was amazing to see the entire stadium and a way ground full with Milan fans. Full with Milan fans. I mean, this is something it was just unimaginable. Unimaginable. The first goal, I mean, they had so many well played chances. The first goal with the triple nutmeg. First, the pass from Leao is nutmeg and Giroud nutmegs the defender and the goal, goalie are making it 1 0. As soon as it was 2 0, I felt some relief. Uh, and then I think my wife asked me, I think they've done it. And I said, No. As long as the opponent can score three goals and mess it all up, they have not done it. Yes. Unfortunately, I do remember that date in 2005. When Casey made the 3 0, you cannot imagine the emotions that came up with me. I was sat there, I mean, tears were coming to me. I, I knew at this moment it's done, but um, I started everyone. I disconnected my phone. I wanted to be, I had the family around. I know this was not a good kick of time for the family, to be honest. 6 o'clock really, really sucks because it's right the time when the kids need to be put to bed and so on. Um, but yeah, uh, I disconnected everything. I said, if Milan win this, I'm gonna buy the shirt that they're winning it, the away shirt that I anyway want, want to have. The match ended. I mean, a celebration. I mean, they were celebrating 10, 10 with 10 minutes to go. Uh, for me, the only sour thing was A, it should have, now two, it should have been six or seven at halftime, and Slatan didn't get his goal. I think this fourth goal, um, just let him have the final goal of the season. Yes, it was offside. I know. Let it be. Just let it be. Just for once, let it be. Give him the send-off. We'll see where Slatan will go, but, you know, I think his Milan team is here to stay and they're going to get better. I think the next season will be tough because I also think that you will get a whole lot better. Um, but other than that... I actually think that Inter will get worse, and so yeah, let's see. This is just first thoughts. I the game was just so wonderful, and then the the scenes afterwards. <sighs> okay, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I I I cannot tell you. When Italy won the European Championship, I felt it. Purely. This one just goes so deep because my heart is hanging on it. And yeah, it's great. I'm fully content. Um, except for videos, you'll only see me wearing Milan stuff for the rest of the month, at least. I'm gonna celebrate the heck out of this title. <sighs> I'm overcome with feelings. So yeah. This is where I am at the moment. I'm yeah, gonna watch now the second half of the. I recorded the Premier League title race. Gonna watch that one now. Um, Milan are champions. Abbiamo vinto. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
It's so great. It's so great. I'm gonna go down, hug my wife. We watch a little bit more. I'm, I'm really, really, really happy at this moment. Cannot tell you. So yeah, please let me know your feelings if you are Milan inclined. Um, cannot say much more. Anyway, thoughts are welcome. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I don't even want to gloat anymore. I don't even want to gloat. I'm just content and happy. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.